the years, we have seen an enormous change to the production and consumption of different music formats. From the old school vinyl records to music available at the click of a button, I will be visiting one of Birmingham's record stores, The Discery, and speaking to experts about the development of technology and why we as a nation have moved away from classical records. Welcome to Dying Arts. What's kept you working here? Is it your love of music? Uh, love of music, people. Um, basically, really, I mean, it was such a unique shop. Uh, we have such a nice raffle with people. That's, that's all that right there. We've got lots of customers who have been coming in 40, 50 years before I worked here. And the other lad who works in the shop, Liam, he's been working here nearly 40 years. There's people who've been coming in all that time. There's been people coming in, like a man that went earlier called Ian, he buys jazz CDs off us, um, who have been coming in probably for 50 odd years. And there's so many people that come in over the years that can remember the first record they bought off us. It's, it's amazing. Do you think vinyls will ever lose their value in the music industry? No. I mean, my boss asked me that many, many years ago in the CD corner, and I, I can't say I knew what I was talking about, but my feeling was then, and still is now, it's probably been justified, that uh, because of the elements I'm talking about, and there is that, quote, old school thing, Nobody gonna, nobody's going to be looking for CDs years down the line. Oh, people are always looking for records, it's a much more personal thing, it really is, I mean, these things are small, they're cute, lovely, you pick up a record, and it's a far more better experience, it just feels, so, loads of things going for it, so I think vinyl will be there forevermore, and once you get exposed to it, God, you want to go to hear it, you know, so, yeah, go on YouTube, go on, and all these things, but people are always saying, oh, I've got this on my iPod, it's terrible the sound, you'll never have that problem with a record, and I wish they wouldn't just keep calling them vinyl, they were called records before CDs, but we're going to call them vinyl. Can you play us one of your favourite songs? I could be here all day playing your favourite records, but um, if I had to choose one record for a desert island, it'd probably be, strange enough, it's just here. Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Um, the only thing is, I've cried many, many times this record, and if it was on a desert island, I'd probably kill myself. Because he, he, he wrote this music to do with ecology and the state of the world back in 67, well, 71 this came out. And it's arguably one of the loveliest records ever made. Yeah, see if you can disagree with that. My belief is that vinyl is making a comeback, partly because people are missing something tangible, something actually tangible and physical in their hands, and something collectible. So, because many of us are downloading legally or illegally much more music than we used to, uh, and we might listen to it once and then delete it or throw it away or forget about it, the whole behaviour, music listening behaviour, is also changing. Radio has intrinsically been the same since its inception. It's audio, it's sound. We only have two ears to listen to it on. Um, but of course, the platforms of delivering that sound have changed. Um, so, you know, we started with very rudimentary radios. Um, we moved on to uh, AM, FM. We moved on to, of course, the internet. And now there's all sorts of um, new ways of, of bringing it to handheld devices. So radio, it's intrinsically the, the same but the way people are listening to it has changed. You've got MP3 players today, um, which have kind of, to a degree, overtaken radio because, you know, if you wanted to listen to fresh new music in the past, um, you had to go to the radio. It was the only place where you could find it. But now, if people want new music, they go directly to the internet. I spend a lot of time with new bands, uh, guitar indie bands, unsigned bands, and they're very, very keen to have their music played on the radio show. So they want to send me MP3s via email. And I'm not really using MP3s. The, I like to use CDs because that's, again, more tangible and it keeps me more alive, putting CDs in and out of the players. So I say to them, don't send me an MP3, send me a CD. Sometimes they still send me an MP3 and I might burn it onto a CD, although I am of late starting to use my laptop. One of our broadcasters he still uses vinyl because Shane is about my age and he recognizes the value and the much beefier sound that vinyl is so we have two 
turntable still, which is unheard of at a radio station. And Shane mixes things live, and, and he's using the vinyl because, again, some of the vinyl he's got is not available as an MP3 or anywhere else on the internet. So he has to use the vinyl. I was in this vintage shop where they were selling clothes, and actually when I go into the shop, what I noticed they were playing sound like they play in most shops. But what I noticed was the sound quality was different. For me, it brings out, um, it's, I would say it's nostalgic, and because when I was young I used to hear uh, that played at home. And I think the authenticity of the sound, when you listen and compare it to the MP3s now, is there's way difference between the two. So I've met people who still have a real love and passion for records and appreciate the quality of sound, but the question still remains, will vinyl records make a comeback? 